Round three of the BT Premiership and we begin our action this week at Myerside. An interception there from Ross Curl and the veteran scuttled in from beyond the halfway line for the opening try. How about this for a riposte from the hosts with Scotland's seventh cap Jamie Farndale putting foot to the floor from 60 metres. And there's James Miller rumbling over for a try on his debut. And it's another score, this time from Craig Borthwick. Second half. Rory Hutton, formerly of Hoyk, doing the damage there after Stirling had fought back into the game. Then two Scotland sevens caps working in tandem there. Glenn Bryce, the Edinburgh Rugby Pro, Sending in Farndale for his second try. Sterling with a final word for a try through Rudy Leishman. Staying in the capital and Curry built an early lead at Megatland with back row forward Mike Vernal enjoying acres of space close to this breakdown. Second half and trailing by 13 points, Burramir responded with tries there by Lewis Carmichael. And then out wide here from fullback Greg Canny. Close finish then, Chris Laidlaw and the charge down from second row Vince Wright. Referee Lloyd Linton awarded the score. At Mansfield Park and after their first win in the BT Premiership last week, Marr continued where they'd left off against Heriots, building up a 20 point interval advantage against Hoyek. The first try here coming from Richard Dalgleish. And then with Colleen Barreto again involved, it was prop Greg Jackson crashing over. Hoyk did get their act together after the break. Here's Lewis Ferguson cutting off his wing, dancing past Barreto for their first try. It's Kyle Brunton in the opposite corner. And then Edinburgh Rugby Pro Tom Brown finishing off. But once again, Mars goal kicking through Colin Sturgeon saw them home. Melrose, who'd already won the BT Charity Shield at Millbrae this season, had a first half purple patch against Ayr. Hooker Russell Anderson was their first try scorer. And then Sam Pecker coming in field to collect try number two. Forwards and backs in unison here. And it's out to the Scotland under 20 cap, Ross McCann. And then McCann showed good gas to exploit an air handling error for the bonus point try. Grant Anderson lurking out wide and put away on a two on one. Did score for air. And they also pulled back a penalty try in the second half, but the points headed to the borders. And finally this week, it's the fast artificial pitch at Scotston, current home for Glasgow Hawks, who opened the scoring thanks to this eagle-eyed contribution at close range from the former Highland scrum half Paddy Boyer. Here it's captain Rory Carmichael, touching down against the uh, post protectors there. And then off this line-out drive, it's hooker Michael Lines. Who gets the touchdown? Hawks hooker Cami Fenton replicated that score. Turnover ball. Hawks dangerous on the counter attack. And here comes Grant Stewart doing just enough to get out of the tackle of Jack McLean. Bobby Beatty, the Scotland Sevens cap, manages to elude Michael Maltman. And then a good change of direction from Beatty. And it's Hawks, fourth try, bonus point before half time. 
second half, however, it was all about the opponent. And there's Adam Sinclair powering over. And the points were heading along the M8 as Craig Robertson squeezed in at the corner for Heriot's first win of the season. Scott Henry, just outside his own 10 metre line, chip kick over the initial line of Dundee defence, Danny Levinson now gathering, the flanker always found some space, barging his way over halfway, on towards Forrester, the loose head prop, perhaps a fraction forward, Danny McGinn now driving towards the line, Wagman with a brilliant tackle though for Selkirk, Dundee now trying to continue this forward momentum and Neil Turnbull receiving the pass from his scrum half, is over for the try. Nixon. On there to the standoff, Banks, oh that's been intercepted, up and over the 10 metre line, acceleration here as Fraser Mackay is breathing down on that try line and outside centre is in for another score. McComb in the scrum half position, on towards Banks, the full back Hamilton makes himself available, on towards Peter Forrest and Peter Forrest is in for a try, the hooker in the right place at the right time, McEwen on towards Banks. There's Andrew Rennick taking it into contact. Oh, a lovely reverse pass there from Rennick. McComb now dances his way around two and he's in the corner for the try. On halfway, McEwen. Ahmed's taken on there by Scott Henry. Henry barging his way over the 10 metre line. Now finds McEwen. McEwen's got pace to burn and the scrum half is in for a score. Ali Mackey coming on to that ball at a rate of knots and continuing to drive up there. He's pushed aside Wagner, now he's up towards McEwen and he just hands off McEwen there, he's within five, six metres of the line. Henry Sampson in position. He's got Rutnagar out wide, also Paddy Hamilton. Paddy Hamilton is able to reach the line and he has touched down for the try. Cameron Matheson towards the back of the line and the number eight picks up and Mackey's going to drive over again, is he? Yes, he is. He's having a super game this afternoon. That extends Dundee's advantage. Rutnagar going in, working a scrum half on towards Fraser Mackay. Mackay with the drop goal. This could be crucial and Dundee have landed the drop goal. They're now nine points in front into the closing stages. Selkirk got some work to do now. Ball coming out there to Hamilton. Hamilton with a lovely little reverse pass there to the winger and Wagman is over for the score. Deep into stoppage time now. The experienced Scott Henry leading the charge up and over halfway. Not maybe the pace that he had years ago, but this is very impressive. A lovely grubber kick. Coming on to it is Fraser Anderson. And Anderson touches down. Arnott clinging on to the ball inside that 22. Desperate stuff for Dundee as they try and seek a dramatic win. Oh, they've won a penalty here. Selkirk penalised. A kick would draw the match. But they've gone for the scrum. And Dundee now powering on here. The number eight picks up at the back. Oh, he spilled it! And Selkirk know that they've won a famous victory. It's the suitors who win today. We're here to win. Um, it was a decision everybody wanted to go for the win. I mean, the three points was easy right in front of the post, so we would take the draw. Um, but we're at Mayfield and we want the win, no, no matter what. So, yeah, we win some, we lose some. Unfortunately, we weren't good enough today, but we'll build on next week and we'll move on. So, We've only had one win here in the last, not even 20 years. It's got up here and get the wins brilliant. I think we started the march well, but then... Uh, we gifted them with two, three tries possibly and weathered that storm and we came through at the end, the boys dug in deep. I mean, we had quite a few changes for last week and different boys coming in and that, but it shows we've got a decent squad behind us and we're making changes, but the boys that come in are, are up to it and they're well up to that level, it's good. Mm -hmm.